Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our TLE class, grade seven, week three. Today, we are going to identify the uses and maintenance of hand tools, power tools, instruments, and equipment. For our learning objectives, number one, differentiate the hand tools, power tools, instruments, and equipment. Number two, identify and classify the common hand tools, power tools, instruments, and equipment used in industrial arts. Number three, explain the uses and characteristics of each tool, instrument, and equipment. This time we are going to identify what industrial tool shown in the screen. Number one, what industrial tool is this? Very good. Analog multimeter is correct. Number two, what is this industrial tool? Very good. Pliers are correct. Number three, what is this industrial tool? Very good. Electric drill is correct. Number four, what is this industrial tool? Very good. Claw hammer is correct. Number five, what is this industrial tool? Very good. Wrenches are correct. Hand tools play a vital role in everyday activities. Throughout history, Individuals have relied on them to perform various practical tasks. Numerous hand tools are available, each serving a specific purpose. It is essential to have a good understanding of their proper usage to achieve optimal results. Neglecting to use these tools correctly can lead to mistakes and accidents. Therefore, craftsmen must choose the right tools for the job. For classification of hand tools, Hand tools can be categorized into various groups, each serving specific purposes. Consequently, these groups are utilized in different situations and for other tasks. Here are some prevalent classifications you may encounter regarding hand tools. Number one, holding tools. Examples are bench vise, pipe vise, wood lathe machine, and clamps. Number two, driving tools. Examples are hammers, rubber mallets, and screwdrivers. Number three, measuring tools. Examples are push-pull tape, caliper, ruler, measuring wheel, meter stick, and wire gauge. Number four, guiding tools. Examples are plumb bob and level hose. Number five, tooth cutting tools. Examples are handsaw, hacksaw, and coping saw. Number six, marking tools. Examples are pencil, chalk line reel, divider, and scratch all. Number seven, edge cutting tools. Examples are chisel, plane, spoke chave. Number eight, boring tools. Examples are gimlet, brad awl, and hand drill. Number nine, Gripping and squeezing tools. Examples are pliers, vice grip, and wrenches. Here are the different types of hand tools. Number one, hammer. Hammers are versatile tools with a metal head for striking force and a handle for gripping and control. They are essential for driving nails, shaping metal, and breaking objects apart. Number two, screwdrivers. They are hand tools with a handle and a shaft ending in a tip, designed to fit into the head of a screw to turn it. They come in various types and sizes, each suited for specific screw head types and applications. They are used for driving or removing screws. Number three, wrenches. It comes in different types, including open end, box end, and adjustable wrenches, each tailored for specific tasks and fastener types. They are used for turning nuts, bolts, and other fasteners. Number four, calipers. Adjustable jaws for measuring internal and external dimensions. Precise measurement of physical dimensions. Number five, precision screwdrivers. Small-scale screwdrivers, often with a revolving top for ease. 
Working with tiny screws, often in electronics. Number six, riveters. A hand tool used to apply rivets. Joining two pieces of metal or other materials. Number seven, handsaw. Handheld device to drive metal staples into materials. Fastening paper, cloth, or other materials together. Number eight, pliers. They are hand tools with two levers joined at a fulcrum, featuring jaws or pincers at one end and handles at the other. They are used for gripping, bending, cutting, and holding objects. Pliers come in various types such as needle nose, cutting, and locking pliers, each suited for specific tasks and materials. It is commonly used to grip and twist wires, bend metal components, hold objects firmly in place, and cut wires or cables. Number nine. Digital tape measure. Digital display, often with memory functions. Measuring distances with digital readout. Number 10, laser levels. Project a laser line to establish straight and level lines. Ensuring straight and level lines for construction. Number 11, digital multimeters. Digital display, measure voltage, current, resistance, and the rest testing and troubleshooting electrical components. For the common hand tools, first, hammer. Examples are, number one, claw hammer, most used for driving and removing nails. Number two, ball peen hammer, for peening rivets and shaping metal. Number three, sledge hammer, heavy duty hammer for more significant task. Second, screwdrivers. Number one, flathead screwdriver. Four slotted screws. Number two, Phillips screwdriver. Cross-shaped, four Phillips screws. Third, wrenches. Number one, open-end and box-end wrenches. Four nuts and bolts. Number two, adjustable wrench. Jaws can be adjusted for various sizes. Fourth, Calipers. Number one, vernier caliper offers precision measurements. Number two, digital caliper provides digital reading. Fifth, precision screwdrivers. Flathead, Phillips, and Torx, available in much smaller sizes. Six riveters. Number one, hand riveter, manual tool requiring physical force. Seventh, handsaw. Examples are rip saw, crosscut saw, hacksaw, coping saw, and the rest. For the common pneumatic tools, number one, air impact wrenches. Powerful tools commonly used for loosening or tightening bolts and nuts with high torque. Number two, pneumatic drill. A handheld air powered tool that drills holes or destroys hard surfaces such as rock, concrete, and roads. Number three, air hammer. It uses compressed air to drive a hammering piston that delivers repeated impacts to the attached chisel or tool bit. Number four, tire inflator. A simple tire inflator is a popular air tool, even with general consumers. There are several tire inflators. Some use air pumps, cars and bikes, balls, mattresses, etc. to inflate tires. A tire inflator with a dedicated air compressor will be necessary for heavy workloads and in inflating large tires. Number five, paint sprayer. Spray painting is another essential application of compressed air. One of the simplest paint sprayers is an airbrush. You can use these sprayers with cars, mural painting, artists, building models, and even t-shirt painting. A slightly advanced paint sprayer is a paint gun. This paint sprayer has a paint pot at the bottom of the handle and is often used for painting large equipment and surfaces. The Gravity Feed Paint Sprayer is a trendy paint gun in the automotive paint industry. A paint reservoir is at the top of the handle, and the paint flows through the trigger handle to the nozzle. For the common hydraulic tools, number one, hydraulic wrench. A conventional hydraulic torque wrench kit generally comprises a hydraulic torque wrench, a particular hydraulic pump station for hydraulic torque wrenches, a double high-pressure hose, and a high-strength heavy-duty socket. Number two, 
Hydraulic jack. A jack that uses a plunger or a hydraulic cylinder as a rigid jacking member. Simple lifting equipment is generally only equipped with a lifting mechanism to lift heavy objects. It is simple in structure, light in weight, easy to carry, and easy to move. Number three, hydraulic puller. This is an ideal new tool to replace traditional pullers. It has a compact structure, flexible use, convenient carrying and operation, fewer restrictions on site, etc. It is suitable for various maintenance places. If the handle slightly swings back and forth, the hydraulic starting lever moves forward, the hook claws retreat correspondingly, and the object can be pulled out. Number four, hydraulic nut cutters are also called nut cutters. In some industries, for rusted nuts that cannot be disassembled, a nut cutter can be used to cut the bolt without damage to the bolt easily, and the bolt can be used next time. Number five, hydraulic press. It is a mechanical press that utilizes hydraulic cylinders to generate compression force. It uses the hydraulic equivalent of a mechanical lever, also known as a Brahma press. Number six, hydraulic crimpers. These are tools used to connect the ends of two cables, wires, or similar flexible materials, such as hydraulic hoses, to match hose ends. The tool allows the user to create a crimp connection through a hydraulic fluid mechanism that transfers force from the user to the tool. For the instruments and equipment used in industrial arts. First, analog instruments. An analog instrument shows the measurement results either in a wave or by the deflection of a pointer on an analog scale. Analog instruments work on the principle of electromagnetic induction, consisting of a magnet, permanent or electromagnet, and a coil through which the current flows. The measurement is then performed by the interaction between the magnet's magnetic field and the magnetic field produced by the electric current in the coil, and the results of the measurement are generally shown by the deflection of a pointer on a scale. Examples are Number 1. Analog Multimeter it is a device that measures electrical quantities such as voltage, current, and resistance. Number two, analog thermometer. It is a device that measures temperature using a liquid-filled tube or coil that expands or contracts in response to temperature changes. Number three, analog pressure gauge. It is a device used to measure the pressure of gases or liquids using a mechanical mechanism to display the pressure reading on a dial physically. Number four, analog oscilloscope. It is a device used to measure and display voltage signals over time using a cathode ray tube to represent the signal visually. Number five, analog caliper. It is a device used to measure the distance between two points using a slider with a scale and pointer to indicate the measurement. Now for the digital instruments. A digital instrument is a measuring instrument that represents the output in the form of digits on a screen, LCD, or LED. The principle of a digital instrument is based on the binary number system where two binary digits, 0 and 1, denote two distinct values. Digital instruments are made of solid-state devices such as diodes, transistors, MOSFETs, LEDs, etc. The results shown by the digital instruments are straightforward and accurate. Some common examples of digital instruments are digital caliper, digital multimeter, digital measuring tape, and digital weighing scale. For the computer-based instruments, computer-based instruments are devices used for measuring, monitoring, controlling, and analyzing various processes within the industrial arts field. Their computing capabilities allow them to perform tasks more accurately and efficiently than traditional instruments. Number one, car scanner. It is a common tool in the automotive industry used by automotive technicians and engineers to read trouble codes generated by the vehicle system. Number two, oscilloscope. It is a device that measures and displays voltage signals as a waveform. It is commonly used in electronics and telecommunications to analyze and diagnose circuit problems. Number three, spectrum analyzer. It is a device used to measure the frequency spectrum of a signal. It is commonly used in telecommunications, audio engineering, and radio frequency RF testing to analyze and diagnose signals. Number four, 
Logic Analyzer. It is a device used to capture and analyze digital signals in a system. It is commonly used in computer hardware development, debugging to test and diagnose digital circuits. Number five, Data Acquisition System. It is a computer-based instrument that measures and records physical phenomena such as temperature, pressure, or vibration. It typically consists of sensors, signal conditioning hardware, and software for data analysis. Number six, Power Quality Analyzer. It is a device used to measure and analyze electrical power quality in a system. It is commonly used in industrial and commercial applications to monitor voltage sags, harmonics, and other power disturbances. Number seven, Temperature Calibrator. It is a device that calibrates and tests temperature sensors and instruments. It can simulate different temperature ranges to ensure the accuracy of temperature measurement devices. Number eight, Pressure Gauge Calibration System. It is a computer-based instrument to calibrate and test pressure gauges and sensors. It can generate and measure pressure levels to verify the accuracy of pressure measurement devices. For the equipment and accessories used in industrial arts services. Number one, in construction services. It includes equipment and accessories could include concrete mixers, dump trucks, loaders, cranes, scaffolding, and safety gear. Number two, in electromechanical services. It includes equipment and accessories could include electronic components such as circuit boards, machinery parts such as gears and motors, and tools such as soldering irons. Number three, in electrical services. It includes equipment and accessories could include wiring, switches, outlets, and tools such as wire cutters and voltage testers. Number four, in automotive and small engine services. It includes equipment and accessories could include diagnostic tools such as OBD scanners, replacement parts such as spark plugs and filters, and maintenance tools such as wrenches and socket sets.